How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and I just submitted another order through fireworksplus.com where I got all six of these 24 shell kits. Now in this video, we're gonna be comparing all six of these canister shell boxes, starting over here with these super wave shells. These are the four inch edition. And then we have the Excalibur shells 2020 edition. These are also four inch cans going up side by side with these. Moving on down, we have the five inch super wave shells by Fireworks Plus Shockwave brand. And those are gonna be going up against the Excalibur Platinum five inch shells. I think this is the 2021 edition. And the last two shell kits in the lineup feature 24 canister shells per box. This one here is simply the best by Dominator Fireworks. Going up against the Pyro Pact 24 kit of shells, 1,440 grams in total by Pyro Pact brand. If I didn't mention this before, these are also five inch cans, as you can see, and I'm really a fan of this downsized box. It's about half the size of a regular 24 kit, and you still get those four tubes in there as well. Now, like I said, I ordered all six of these canister shell boxes from fireworksplus.com, and actually what I'm not showing you on camera is I do have another case of these shells and these shells in the pickup, and I can get you a shot of that real quick. So yeah, additionally, I did get one case of the four inch super wave shells and I got a case of the five inch down there. Now, one of my favorite things about Fireworks Plus is they always send you this cool little sample bag. So we're gonna take this over to the tailgate. This is my favorite part of every order and show you what they sent me. This here is just a monster truck by Legend Fireworks. Can't wait to see that. It's kind of coming undone, but I did have it in this bag, so. And they obviously know me too well. This is one of my favorite novelties of all time. The Camellia Flower by Shogun Fireworks, definitely a classic. Next up, we got a pack of darts by Dominator Fireworks. And uh, these things are also called zippers, mosquitoes. They go by every name in the book. And then we have a pack of the Small Bee by Maddox Fireworks. Check it out. These are some of my favorite aerial spinners. And last but definitely not least, we have a 60 piece box of the Black Spider Firecrackers. So check it out. These are basically like mini dynamites. So these are all the fun little novelty items I got in the order and I can't wait to see them in action. So basically this is gonna be one giant canister shell comparison video. And starting over here, we also wanna look if they are labeled and numbered for effect. So on the super wave shells that are four inches in length, you can see they are numbered and they are labeled for effect right on the shell and on the back of the box there. And on these 2020 Excalibur shells, if I flip it around, you can see the shells poking out right here. They are labeled for effect, but you do have your effects listed on the back as well. So taking a look at the five inch super wave shells, you can see when I flip it over on its side, they are not only numbered again, you can see the 16 right there, but they are also labeled for effect right on the shell along with all the effects there on the back of the box. Moving on to one of my favorite shell kits of all time. This is the Excalibur Platinum 5-inch shells. And by the way, every single one of these canister shell kits you can get on fireworksplus.com, shipped right to your doorstep in most states. You have the effect on the shell, much like the 2020 Excaliburs, you do have all your effects right there on the back. And here we have the Simply the Best by Dominator Fireworks 5-inch shells. You can see they are numbered and labeled for effect. You've got some photos on the back, but I don't think any of this is what these shells actually do. And other than that, you are not getting a full list of effects on the back of the box, but that's okay when we have not only the effect, but also the number on the individual shells themselves. And last but not least, I thought we were gonna have to open this one up, but as you can see, we do have a number and an effect right on the shell. So 10 out of 10, again on these, just on the packaging alone, they're getting a high rating. We've got some photos here, but again, these look a little larger than what these canister shells are actually capable of. And we got some more photos there on the side, along with some warnings and how to load them properly. So obviously I have my work cut out for me today. This is 144 canister shells in total, and I have six milk crate racks out here. Each one is going to hold all 24 shells that come inside these kits. On the shells that are numbered one through 24, we're gonna be fusing those up in the rack one through 24. So when I shoot them, they're actually gonna be going in order. Hopefully we get some good pacing on these shell racks, but I've gotta to get to fusing because I have a lot of work ahead of me. So when we get them all fused up and ready to shoot off, I'll get right back to you. So as you guys can see, we have started to fuse up all of the canister shells. Uh, these ones over here are the Excalibur Platinums and they were numbered and labeled for effect. So they are fused up one through 24. And then these ones here are already preloaded, but we're also shooting them one through 24. And these are the five inch super wave shells. 
Now, believe me, guys, I know how nice it is to have a video where we shoot one through 24 on each of these kits so you know exactly what each shell does. But as you can see, we are losing daylight fast. And because this is 144 shells, unfortunately, these four kits here will not be fused up in the rack one through 24. It just takes too much time, and we don't want to be out here fusing in the dark because I don't have any flashlights. So again, I really apologize for this, but you're still going to be able to see all 24 shells either way. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have all six of our canister shell boxes fused up right here in the milk crate racks. And at this point, we're just waiting for the sun to go down so we can shoot them off. But check it out. I've actually got part of the box on each one so we know exactly what we're shooting each time. Now, just as a reminder, the only ones that are fused in order, one through 24, to shoot them one at a time are the Excalibur Platinums and the Superwave 5 inch shells. So I think while we're waiting for it to get a bit darker out, we're just gonna play around with those novelties that we got in the bag. So as you can see, there's still a lot of light in the sky. We're gonna go ahead and start on these novelties. Here goes the purple truck. It actually moved on gravel. This is cool. I think stuff is gonna shoot out of the front too. Does it go in reverse? Oh. Whoa, it does go in reverse. <laughs> that was cool. So let's go ahead and do all six of the camellia flowers. They have a nice little pop to them. Here goes one more. Nice. So these are the little black spider firecrackers. Let's see two of them. Not bad. And now probably one of the weirdest sounding fireworks ever. Here goes the darts by Dominator Fireworks. And now let's see five of them at the same time. Sweet. So we actually missed one of these and I'm gonna get you guys a POV shot straight up into the air. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> and let's go ahead and see one of these small bees. Look at that. All right, we're gonna try to go for the whole pile. Whoa, 3D effects. Well, looks like we got one more here. Look at that. <laughs> so unfortunately, all of our novelties are over with and now it's on to the big stuff. Well, as you guys can see, it is now dark enough to start lighting off our canister shells for comparison. We're gonna go ahead and start over here with the four inch 2020 Excalibur shells. It's gonna go kinda quick. Tell you what, I haven't shot Excalibur shells in a long time. What a refresher. <laughs> now let's see how those four inch Excalibur shells hold up against the Superwave four inch by Fireworks Plus Shockwave. These go way higher. Holy cow. Yep, I think it's safe to say those won by a landslide. So I have to admit, both shells were great in their own way, but these definitely took it for the night. Now moving on to our first rack of Excalibur Platinum shells. 
These are actually fused up one through 24. Hopefully we don't get fused jumping. We'll see. Platinums. Man, those are loud. Wow. Yeah, these are a lot louder than the four inch scouts. Oh, look at that. Man, what a gorgeous shell kit. I don't know how we're gonna top those platinum shells, but let's go ahead and see if the five inch super wave shells by Fireworks Plus and Shockwave can beat them. Also fused up one through 24. Oh my God. These are already way louder. Uh, we kinda got three at once there. Holy cow. Oh my God. So this one is tough because the Excalibur Platinums had outstanding gold willow effects, but these were also like 10 times louder. So far I have not been disappointed with a single shell kit tonight, and we are on to our last comparison. Let's go ahead and start with Simply the Best by Dominator Fireworks. These are gonna go quick. Wow. Look at that. Obviously canister shells are my favorite fireworks besides rockets, so I hate to say this, but this is our last shell kit of the night. Here goes the Pyropact 5-inch shells by Pyropact brand, going up against the Dominator shells. Still going. Might be too close to. Wow, look at that. Look at that hanging there. Definitely on these two shell kits here, I think these ones here went just a little bit higher, but who knows because I think I was too close to these things when they were going off anyway. So luckily we do have a wide angle shot on every single one of these shell kits. And that's the video we're gonna roll to next. So here we go.
So we had six different canister shell kits in this video and I hope you enjoyed. You're gonna have to comment below which one was your favorite. And with that, we will see you tomorrow.